Welcome back into the Auburn Opelika Review. We caught up with Scott Gomberg, the Director of Golf here at Grand National, to see where Grand National fits into the grand scheme of things at the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Scott, talk about Robert Trent Jones and where it fits in with the whole trail here in the state of Alabama. Well, this is the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail at Grand National, and we are in Opelika, Alabama. And uh, we are in a, a real neat place in, this, in the state of Alabama. We're, you know, centrally located, plus we're really close to the Atlanta airport. So guests and travelers coming into the state can fly into Atlanta, drive an hour and 20 minutes, and here they are at Grand National in Opelika. Um, the town itself, you got Auburn football, you got so many great things going on here in this community. Uh, you got the new National Village homes being built here, and, and you got retirees moving in there, empty nesters moving in there, young people moving in there, and uh, you just got a bunch of people all over the area that can, can live here in this area and have just an unbelievable 54-hole facility to come play, practice, and just engage in on a daily basis. And I tell you, we met with Auburn Opelika Tourism Bureau, and the very first place that they spoke about whenever they were talking about bringing tourists in is this golf trail. And I don't think people throughout the state, as we are on ACN throughout the state of Alabama, understand how much of a tourist attraction that all of this golf trail is, especially here at Grand National. Well, it's, it's unbelievable what tourism and, and uh, just tourism in the state is at, the, at this point and what the trail has done for that tourism. Uh, we play about 67,000 rounds here at this facility. Probably about 40% of those rounds are people from out of the state. So you've got people in February, March, and April coming in from California, uh, Canada, Wisconsin, uh, all over the place coming to play these golf courses where our uh, temperature is just wonderful for that time of the year to play. So we've got just a, an amazing amount of people coming in to, to play these courses. And not only those coming from out of state, but in state, a lot of them use trail cards and uh, the things that make it very affordable. And I think that's the beautiful thing about the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail. Well, sure, you drive down this parkway two miles and you get to this facility and the first thing you do is say, oh my goodness, look at the, the, the clubhouse, the golf course, this must be $150 to play golf. Well, a local guy can get a trail car for $39.95. He can play for $41.95 all year during the week, $47.95 on the weekend. And uh, this, I mean, he doesn't have to join a private club. He's got three golf courses to choose from. So there's always availability. And he's playing, uh, you know, paying close to nothing to just enjoy the most amazing golf in the, in the world. And as we've seen out here today, there's a lot of tournaments that go on here, a lot of corporation fundraisers and things. Talk about that. Is that a big part of golf around this area? It really is. You know, we do a lot of corporate events. We do a lot of fundraising events. And, uh, you know, when you have three golf courses, once again, you've always got the availability to be able to do some sort of event without having to close it to your local player, or your traveler. So it works really well to be able to bring people in, let them enjoy one of the courses and still have other courses available. But uh, we, we, we encourage people to call the golf course and, and book those types of events because it's one of the best ways to raise money and have people enjoy it. And it's so easy because we're a one-stop shop. You book the event, you come here, and that's all you do is provide us some names. We do everything. We run the entire event with a full service food and beverage and golf staff. And for people locally in the Auburn Opelika area, as well as students that may be coming here next year, unlimited golf is something that you that you offer, as well as twilight promotions that you have throughout the summer. I think that's important to people locally. And we've got a, a large contingency of who watches this show as local people. So talk about that. Well, sure. I mean, starting in the summer months, you, you got your daylight until almost 9 o'clock. So at 3 o'clock, we start a twilight, $36. You don't have to have a trail card or any other uh, membership type. You just show up, 36 bucks. You can play a green fee and cart fee. Uh, starting in July, we do an unlimited golf uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, actually, Tuesday and Wednesdays we do it. Uh, you can come out here and uh, play all day, you know, and uh, for just an amazing price. So, you know, we encourage you to come out and play all day and, and enjoy, you know, it's almost like being on vacation in your own town. It is, and we've talked a lot about the golf here, but the amenities around this area is, as well. We've got the hotel and conference center that you can bring in corporate uh, fundraising type events and things like that that go on, as well as new home development around this area. Talk about that. Just so much more than golf going on in this area. It really is. You got a full service Marriott hotel right here on property. I mean, weddings, rehearsal dinners, all those types of events are there. Um, you know, a lot of groups that aren't even that far away from the state of Alabama or even in Alabama like to do recruiting trips and what have you. So you get over to the hotel. You know, you spend the day in one of their nice meeting rooms or ballrooms, and then come over here and you got 16 to 20 or even 40 people play golf for the afternoon, and uh, you know, there's no travel involved. You, you got the hotel right here. And then once again, with National Village, the homes, I mean, you just, I can't even explain it to you. You have to come out and see. They are just spectacular homes. You sit on your front porch and watch the deer walk by and, uh, and just enjoy the amenities of those facilities. 